Welcome to the show. We're so glad that you're here. We've got a great author coming up next. He's written the book, Delsar, The Champion and the Hero. Welcome, A.D. Morway. Glad that you're here. Thanks so much for having me. It's lovely to meet you and fantastic to be here. I can't wait to hear about your book. It sounds so... I know that you're really into Star Wars and, and sci-fi, but you're grabbing the emotions of the world in a really personal way. Let's let's start with talking about the overall message of what your book is about. Yes, thank you. Uh, obviously, we're coming out of a COVID-19 phase and lockdown phase, and that mm -hmm. really affected me emotionally. And so I wanted to write a story about a character who kind of isolated himself from the world, and that really hurt him. And mm -hmm. so it's a story about solidarity and needing others because we're all going through something, um, whether it's related to the lockdown or something else in your life. And it's very important to have other people in your life to help you through it and for you to help them through things. What does the character experience throughout the solidarity? Um, well, friendship, that was kind of the big mm. thing. Uh, he has gone six years without friends or including himself anywhere and just not trusting anyone throughout his life just because everybody betrayed him earlier in his life. And so he doesn't think he needs anyone anymore. Mm. Does this go back deeper than COVID? Are there some personal experiences in there, Morway? Yes, there, there definitely are a few personal experiences. So yeah. I feel, I, th I think a lot of people can relate to the characters. So the characters, let's talk about who they are and, and the meaning behind them, because you put a lot of thought into the characters. Yes, I did. Uh, the main, there are two main characters. There's Delsar, who's obviously the title character, and then Elidra, who is the secondary character, and she's female. And I think Delsar was kind of based off myself, where I was a couple years ago, and how I felt internally. And then Elidra is kind of more my external appearance, how oh. I pretended to be. Um, but how you wanted I, people to see you. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. Um, and so they're they're kind of polar opposites. And I, because of that, I think they have a great chemistry together and have some witty banter throughout the book. So let's talk about the real life, the morals, the dilemmas, the different you know, emotions and things that they're going through. Sure, absolutely. Um of course, the first one already mentioned is being alone in right. the world. That's obviously a tough one. Uh, another one is regret. There's a couple characters who live with a lot of regret in the story. Mm -hmm. And they keep striving so hard to make those regrets right by doing something in their life that's better than what they did that was wrong. Um, but it just never works because they never... Wow experience forgiveness which is the big thing they need they need to first of all forgive themselves and then move on hmm. from there hmm. is there a faith element to this is there is there a foundation of of faith on this yes there there definitely is um i am a i am a follower of christ i, I believe wholeheartedly in him and uh so i did take a lot of inspiration from messages in the bible and some C.S. Lewis. I love C.S. Lewis. Mm. So a lot of stuff from like that. It sounds like you're a person who takes advantage of opportunities. You you, you seem to be a really optimistic person. Um, is that an important part of how you write and what the future of your characters are going to be? Are you an optimistic writer in that way? Uh, yes, I, I definitely am. Um, I like to think, you know, there's a plan somewhere going on. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes things don't go according to plan, but we'll get to the end eventually anyway. So hmm. uh, may as well do the best we can while we're here. Mm -hmm. It seems like you could replace a lot of the things that you're talking about in the book with our own personal experiences. It seems like, well, they might be talking about regrets of this, but we can all fill in the blank, right? Yes, exactly. That's what I was going for. So it's a fantasy world, a world outside of this world, a world you can escape to if you read it but you're going to experience a lot of the same emotions and be able to connect and relate to a lot of the characters. Would you ultimately like for people to see Christ reflected in this book? I would. I really would. I think uh, that would be, you know, wonderful people to see, wow, this is what it's like to be truly forgiven, mm. to 
truly move past your regrets and, mm -hmm. you know, just accept the free gift that is grace. Absolutely. Do you know where the characters are going to go as you're writing? Or is this something that you kind of, it unfolds as you're going along? Uh, I'll be honest. Um, I had, at least for the first book, you know, a beginning and an end. And I knew who was going to live. I knew who was going to die. And I wrote it out the first draft. But then when I got to the second draft, things changed. And I found characters in situations I didn't plan for them to be in. And then they weren't able to make it out of there. Um, so it's very character driven. Wow. And you know, some things are twists from even myself, just depending the situations they find themselves in. You write from a very deep place. Is there anything that's off limits for you? I'm willing to touch on certain subjects um, because of where I know my family has come from. And I think these are re real world problems. So I'm okay to mention them because these are things that happen. But I will not touch upon nudity or sex mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. and I will not have cursing in my books either. That's a wonderful thing. I mean, while I tend to think that the target is young audience, it seems like, I mean, if we're going to talk about Star Wars, it's, it appeals to <laughs> masses. Who are you targeting? Um, those in need specifically, those wow. who are feeling alone. Um, like, a, a, I think teenagers especially i think we'll enjoy this because i have a lot of younger friends who uh, also are feeling very much alone and so mm -hmm. and plus anyone who enjoys a good read i know a couple of couples who have read it and they've enjoyed it as well mm -hmm. uh, but definitely mostly those who kind of feel lost right now and what is the future do you think this is going to be a series yes i do i have at the moment four books planned for this particular series, but I would love to expand on this world I'm creating and have all sorts of spin-offs eventually. I, you know, I would love to just kind of wrap up knowing a little bit more about you personally. Sure. Tell me more about who you are, where you came from, what, what was your family like, things like that. Uh, my family grew up uh, Christian. I'm in a very Christian home. Uh, we did a lot of church jumping because mm -hmm. we've found a lot of the denominations would have had these extra rules and such that weren't necessarily in the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I grew up a lot in, in that. I eventually decided to join the military. That's what I thought my calling was going to be. Oh. And it was working out great. And then I developed a few autoimmune disorders out oh. of nowhere, which the doctors said probably were brought upon by stress. And sure. that was when that was when I found myself in a deep darkness. And uh, this book has really helped me out of that. And uh, because I found a new, what I think to be a new calling, what I can do on the side of anything else I do is writing. Wow. What a gift to be able to tap into something had God's plan not worked out. Sometimes we look back, we go, God, why? Why would this mm -hmm. awful, you allow this awful thing? Well, because I have something different for you. Yes, exactly. It's appreciating think, where yeah, we're at, right? I, I do. And I think he meant for those things to happen to me because it really helped with my character too, my own mm -hmm. character. So. Wow. I can't think of a better note to end on. That's that's a big takeaway. A.D. Morway, Delsar, the champion and the hero. Thank you so much. Um, and for those of those that are listening on the radio, where can we get a hold of you and buy the book? Uh, the book, it's on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, pretty much any online store you can buy it. It's not in stores yet. That's the next goal. And if you want to reach me, I have a website, admorway.com which you can get a hold of me as well, or admorway at gmail.com. That's a right. very simple way to get to me. And then, of course, at Writer's Republic, they can Writer's find Republic. you there as well. That mm -hmm. place as well, yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was a joy speaking with you. Keep it going. Let's catch up when we uh, get the second book out to the series. Will do. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Have a great day. You too.